welcome back. We have tonight on the show Drex, the co-host of Mountain FM's morning show. Drex. Hi, man. How you doing? Not too bad. How are you? Good. Very well. Excellent. Excellent. So, uh, I, I take it that you've moved from Australia yeah. all the way to Castlegar. Mm -hmm. how, Castlegar. Yeah. How was um, our metropolis treating you? Which one? The Nelson one or the Castlegar one? <laughs> oh, let, let's shoot for... Well, they're both goals. very different places. Oh, okay. From an outsider's point, how are they different? Um, well, Castlegar is very industrial, mm -hmm. and Nelson is very uh, sort of non-industrial. <laughs> <laughs> there's, 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 more, there's more women in Nelson with hairy armpits than Castlegar, I think. Is what I'm oh, okay, okay. Yeah. We should make you feel at home. I heard that down under they don't shave as much. No, they don't shave down under either. <laughs> very natural. Well, that, that's nice. Mm. Yeah. Well, for some. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, do you uh, miss that? No, 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 no. No. Well, is there anything from Australia that you miss? No, uh, Vegemite. Vegemite. Yeah, it's, it's this. Uh, it, Does anyone know what Vegemite is? Yeah. So, so it's a, it's like a. Uh, uh, I think a good way to describe it is it's like a it's like a vegetable stock reduction, and Why? it comes in a jar, and you put it on hot buttered toast. <laughs> or you put it on a uh, hot buttered toast, then put a craft single, and then and then put it under the broiler. Why would you do that? <laughs> because because that's, it's 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 probably the Australian version of a poutine. It looks like, it, it looks like potato. It, like your poutine looks like potato in a bowl. It looks like someone's taken a big, large, standing dump on top. Of it. <laughs> Yeah. What, what would be that white stuff then if Delicious. it wasn't dumb? <laughs> you need to get that looked at. <laughs> but the, the Vegemite is a. It, it, look, I personally don't like Vegemite. Really? Yeah. I, trust me, if any Australians hear that, I'll, I'll get lynched. But it's a, it's it's, it's uh, something that's been uh, in Australian culture since the 40s. Well, I, I've heard about it, and what we've done is because we, we we know that you don't like it. Do you know how hard it is to get? You can't buy it anywhere in Canada. Well. That's not 100% true. Right. We were able to get... You've got some Vegemite. A little bit of Vegemite for wow, you. Wow, that probably cost you about $18 for that size. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Now, now I'm, I don't need to try it because I know what it tastes like, but I think you should try it. <laughs> Have, have you got a spoon? A similar to a spoon? Just run over. So, so I'll, I'll, give you, I'll just read the ingredients for you. Oh, okay. So yeast extract. Salt, mineral salt. So it's, look, it's not good for your. Uh, it's got uh, niacin, thiamine, riboflavin, and folate. So it's, now it's it's, it's have, have hold, on, hold on, hold on. I want to I want to show the audience. Show them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not a liquid. It's a solid. <laughs> now congealed is good. Now have you have you ever eaten Nutella? Yes, yes, I so have it's, it's, it's not a, it, it's a little bit more salty than Nutella. Oh. But it's, it, you eat it like, have you ever sort of had the jar of Nutella and you just dug in? It's kind no, of like I, that. I don't, oh. So I'll just get a little bit for you. That's, that is probably what you'd put on a piece of toast. Just try that. Just put it straight in your mouth and eat it. It's delicious. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't like oh, it because it's, because it's not my thing, but it's, it, it, what does it smell like? Put it all over it. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your radio show. 
Our, our radio show? Your radio well, show. Well, it goes for four hours in the right. morning. Um, and um, it can be considered offensive by some people. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. Usually when animals do that, you need to take them to the vet. <laughs> Well, thank God we only got 10 per minute. <laughs> when those animals go to the vet, they, they get their uh, pulse uh, checked uh, anally as well. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a new day. Yeah. Oh, so, so, so it's a four-hour four show. It airs weekdays 6 to 10. So, it's, so it airs right across the era. Yeah. Should we get you some water? I'll be okay. I'll get some right. Just so, keep talking. So it airs... It airs <laughs> It goes to air right across the Kootenay boundary. All right. Uh, and it's about, probably about, we've probably got about 80,000 people listening. Wow. Listen, listen across the day, so. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, any Aus Australian fans follow you? Uh, well, there's, there's like two. There's, they, they, they tend to like, <laughs> well, they, they're all smoking weed somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so there's, there's, a, there's a couple, there's a guy called Ty, who's lived here for like 11 years. He's pretty much a Canadian. Oh, I speak to him about Australian stuff, he's like, what? He doesn't understand it, because all the stuff I talk about has happened in the last 10 years. Right. And he, he doesn't know anything about it, because he's lived here for so long. But um, occasionally I'll ask Australians to ring up and back me up on an argument, but they never do. They never do. No. Well, time change, too. You're calling they, them at that. What the, what, no, no, well, I'm saying like Australians that live here. Oh. They avoid me like that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> You're on radio, that's yeah. why. There's, and there's, a, there's another type of people that avoid me, too. They're, they're called New Zealanders. The Kiwis? Yeah. Why are they called Kiwis? Because they're filthy. <laughs> they've, got a, they've got a Prime Minister named Helen Clark and she's a lovely bloke. <laughs> I, I caught that by the way. <laughs> if, if, you, if you get home and you Google Helen Clark, you'll see exactly what, I, what, I, what I'm talking about. She, she looks like a guy that you would call Barry. <laughs> very, she's very mannish. Well, well, a strong woman. Yeah, a strong woman. <laughs> strong, wow. Possibly a penis, who knows? <laughs> uh, so, um, I understand that you're running a bit of a contest. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about that contest. Uh, this is the Mugapalooza. Tell us about so, it. Yeah. Uh, we have this problem in our kitchen. Because people who work in radio get paid bugger all, they tend to steal things from work. One of, those, one of, the, easiest, one of the easiest things to steal from work is, a, is like coffee mugs. Okay. Right? Because people working right here tend to consume a lot of coffee. Tend to? Yeah. They, is they, it because you can't afford real food? Yeah, so they drink coffee <laughs> loaded up with cream and sugar. So the coffee mugs go missing. So Johnson and I came up with this idea, and it was purely an idea to stop the cabinet with coffee mugs. Right. So we said, let's do a thing called Mug Palooza, and we'll get businesses to bring in coffee mugs, and we'll judge which is the best coffee mug, and that, that could be the official mug of the show. Oh, okay. So that's what we're doing. We're getting coffee mugs, uh, and uh, tomorrow we decide the winner. So far, we've got about 15 or so. Awesome. Well, I want to talk a little bit more about that, but we're at our edit point. So we'll be right back with Drex from Mountain Apple.